We're at St. James Church in Richmond, Virginia. This is the site of a lightning strike to the steeple, which caused a catastrophic fire to the sanctuary. The loss was in the neighborhood of four to five million. It was an unbelievable fire. The whole roof caved in on the church. They hadn't had lightning protection. I guess they felt they didn't need it or they didn't know they didn't have it until after the fact. The top of the steeple is a copper skin about 40 feet down from the cross. Then it transitions to masonry and brick. When lightning struck, it transversed the copper quite easily till it got to non-conductive materials like the brick, like the wood in the attic space of the sanctuary. Those high resistance components, you had a heat build up generating and then you had a fire. It was an enormous amount of damage. The decision was made to stay in this location. Bishop Lee came and said, you had a beautiful church, rebuild it. We installed a UL listed master label lightning protection system for the church. It consisted of air terminals on the cross at the top of the steeple, along the primary ridge behind the steeple, and the flat sections of the roof behind the primary ridge. Uh, this system interconnected with 28 strand 0 .066 gauge copper conductors which interconnected to the structural steel of the building. And the structural steel was grounded at intervals approximately every 60 feet around the perimeter of the footprint of the building by way of 3 quarter by 10 foot copper clad steel ground rods. Inside the church, the balconies had fallen uh, in but not all the way to the ground. They were all tilting in which was a very good thing because they protected the stained glass Tiffany windows a bit. When we interconnect to these other grounding sources like the electric ground or the phone ground, we make sure we're common with that either through the water pipe, which is usually bonded to these grounding systems, or through the steel framework, which we're all tied together to as well, or by direct bonding itself. We have a beautifully carved wooden reredos and most of it was damaged beyond repair, but interestingly, the center, which is Jesus, was saved as charred and is in our chapel. It's very clear to me that lightning protection is very important because certainly you would never want to go through something like that again.